Jupiter like never before. What they found will blow your mind. Thanks to the technological developments of today, we have mapped out our solar system. We know the planetary motions and their positions. However, new information has come to our attention, which challenges what we know of our solar system. For instance, there has been a question related to the origins of Jupiter. What if Jupiter originated outside our solar system? In this video, we will talk about this scenario in detail and its implications for the rest of our solar system. So stay tuned. But before we discuss this any further, I would request you to subscribe to the channel. Thank you! As we know that Jupiter is a gas giant and is mostly composed of helium and hydrogen. Jupiter has been studied extensively for the past three centuries, and the first systematic study of this planet dates back to the 17th century. Despite these extensive investigations, there is so much that we do not know about this planet. For example, we still do not know much about the giant red spot, which is still hotly debated within the scientific community to this day. We do not know the origin and color of the great red spot. Jupiter is known for its quick rotation around the axis. Due to its rapid movement about its axis, Jupiter takes only about 10 hours to complete one rotation. However, it takes 12 years for Jupiter to complete one revolution around the Sun. Due to its fast rotation around its own axis, there are hugely powerful cyclones and anticyclones on its surface, which can reach up to speeds of 335 miles per hour. One of the more landmark and permanent anticyclones is the Great Red Spot. Anticyclones are defined as a weather phenomenon characterized by high pressure, in which winds move in clockwise direction in the northern hemisphere and anti-clockwise direction in the southern hemisphere. The interesting aspect of this great red spot is that its size is decreasing. For instance, its size was estimated to be 25,500 miles in the 19th century, and recently it is close to 10,250 miles, which is slightly larger than the diameter of Earth. We still do not know for sure why there is a marked decrease in the size of the GRS. However, NASA scientists have estimated that there must be something in Jupiter's atmosphere, which may have caused a dramatic reduction in the size of GRS. There is another unique aspect of the GRS, which has remained a mystery, its intriguing red hue. Scientists have theorized that its deep red color could be attributed to the little-known gas ammonium hydrosulfide. What's more interesting is that this gas is colorless and it forms sulfur when the gas is exposed to UVs emanating from the sun. Scientists also think that there is a correlation between the intensity of the redness of the storm and the speed. This means that the color becomes more dense as the speed of the winds increase. The atmosphere of Jupiter, in addition to hydrogen, helium, also contains some heavy elements, including nitrogen, argon, and xenon, etc. But these elements could only be formed at very high temperatures. Since the surface temperatures of Jupiter are averaged at about minus 238 degrees Fahrenheit, this does not explain the presence of these heavier elements. This has led scientists to conclude that Jupiter may have originated from someplace outside of the solar system. Theoretical calculations from some scientists have indicated that Jupiter may have been formed four times further away from the Sun. Initially, Jupiter may have been formed with heavier elements. But to get a better understanding, we need to understand how gas giants are formed. Gas giants are formed in a different manner from how rocky planets are formed. A star is formed from gas and dust clouds, after which the excess of this galactic dust starts rotating across the star, in much the same way as giant planetary rings work. These rings are referred to as protoplanetary disks, which is the material from which planets are made from. The protoplanetary disks exist for a short period of time, up to 10 million years, and are made up from 99% gas and 1% dust. As the dust particles collide with each other, they stick together and form a minute planet, called planetesimals. Planetesimals eventually gain mass and gradually become planets, asteroids, or moons, depending on several factors, including the amount of material and distance of the planet from the star. Gas giants are unique in the sense that gas giants are formed away from stars. Close proximity to the star results in strong gravitational forces, which help push a massive, solid core. Gas giants can accumulate a large core mass, which may include water vapors. These water vapors can act as building material for the core. The idea that Jupiter was formed somewhere at a distance of 3.5 AU, and then reversing its path to come close to 1.5 AU, and then gradually ending up at its current location, of being somewhere at 5.2 AU is referred to as Grand Tact Hypothesis. 
This hypothesis was presented by an eminent astrophysicist from Southwest Research Institute in Boulder called Kevin J. Walsh. The Grand Tack hypothesis suggests that the migration pathway of Jupiter may have caused the formation of the asteroid belt. Scientists go so far as to suggest that Jupiter's migration may have even resulted in the insufficient mass of Mars. There is some evidence that provides credence to this claim. There are a huge number of asteroids called Jupiter Trojans, which surround the planets on the front and the back. Scientists have been baffled about why the Jupiter Trojans in front of Jupiter are twice as large as one behind it. Scientists at the University of London have run multiple computer simulations and have concluded that this asymmetry can be attributed to planetary migration. Scientists think that the Trojans in front of Jupiter may have been a part of the Kuiper Belt, which is located just beyond Neptune's orbit. These asteroids are really significant in the sense that they bring an opportunity for us to study the materials immediately after the birth of the solar system. What do you think studying these asteroids will reveal? Feel free to comment down below and do not forget to leave a huge thumbs up for the video. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Cheers!